So my sound's a little funky because I just realized I wasn't even recording on the mic. OBS crashed right, right when I hit start record. So I'm just going to be using the native audio from the camera. Sorry if it sounds a little off. <laughs> Hi everyone, Donut here. We're going to do this video a little different today. I'm going to use this fancy schmancy camera that you guys got for me. What are we going to talk about today? We're going to talk about a woman who pointed a shotgun at police, fired a shotgun at police, used her five-year-old as a body shield, and ended up having the city of Baltimore award her family $37 million. Why, yes, we are going to talk about Miss Corinne Gaines. This whole crazy situation started out a few weeks before she was shot and killed by Baltimore police on a traffic stop. It turns out that Miss Corinne Gaines was a sovereign citizen. I'm sorry, Kate. Who are you? The officer pulled her over for having a tag that said any government official who compromises this pursuit of happiness and the right to travel will be held criminally responsible and fined, as this is a natural right and freedom. She used the classic sovereign citizen statement of, I do not participate in your laws. I do not participate in any of you guys' side laws and things like that. I don't participate in that. And classic others such as Do you have a delegation of authority order? <clears throat> Am I free to go? Is there a crime being committed? You are not authorized. I already told you I don't put this in Sir, state. you have yet to identify yourself. I'm a County Police Officer. Okay, can I see some ID? Please? What kind of ID would you like? You have yet to identify yourself. Identify At this myself. point in time, I don't know who you are okay. and why you're pulling Man, me over. Turn, you turn, are not. Turn this car off. Turn this car. Sir, can you identify yourself? You listen, have a child. Think, listen, I think, don't want to be think. arrested. Then, That's then, number then, one. Then do all I'm ask, asking please. you I'm for. You. I showed you uh, my police ID. Right. I don't have to do that, but I did it because I'm working with you. Sir, okay? you don't you have a tag it, on you're the vehicle. Me In Maryland, you this have is, to have a registered motor listen, vehicle to drive. Okay, all right. So this is what we're going to do. I'm still waiting for you to to identify yourself. During the stop, she also scared the bejesus out of her children as much as possible and told them to fight the police officers if they are removed from the vehicle. These bitches going to see a fight today. I don't give a fuck. Fuck that. They going to have to kill me. Hey, Cody. They tell you get out this car. We'll take your seatbelt off. You do not get out this car. Do you understand? You better fight they asses. Fight them. Do you hear me? The officer then tried to give her some traffic citations and her vehicle needed to be towed because it did not have any proper registration. Remember, when you're a sovereign citizen, traffic laws don't apply to you. They are not crimes. Pennsylvania versus Mims, ha, I don't have to step out of my car. I'm a sovereign citizen. You, you, don't, have to, you don't have to sign them. It doesn't mean you're guilty. It means, okay. You, okay. I don't want them. Okay, but I have to give them to you. It's okay. okay, but I have to give them to you. It's okay. I'll put them in your car for you. So this on camera. Hey, hey, you two people. All right, and this is your uh, notice of advice. All right, you want to read this? No, thank you. Right. I'll, I'll leave it with your copies. All right, you got it? Since you've been charged with citation, so you can read it at a later date. Um, I just want my information. Here's your license back, and here's your... Uh, thank you. And where are my car keys? We're waiting for the tell, okay? So I would right now get all your stuff out, okay? Okay, where are my car the, keys? We have to give them to the tow truck driver. Please. We have to give them to the tow truck driver. We'll take the car key off and give you the rest of the keys, okay? I want my car keys now. Listen. You're not going to kidnap me. Okay. I've never been arrested. I'm not committing a crime. There is no victim here. So there's no victim here. So when the first chance you put your hands on me, uh -huh. I promise you I will own your ass in that department over there. I promise you that. What does that mean? I promise you. What does that mean? I promise you okay. that. Right. The first time you lay a face. First time. What about the second time? They gave her every chance to step out of her vehicle that was not registered. It's weird that she doesn't abide by their laws, but she had a valid driver's license on her. Corinne ended up being arrested, charged with disorderly conduct, littering, and resisting arrest. On August 1st, three officers who were with a Baltimore warrant team showed up at her house and heard voices coming from inside. They heard a male's voice and a female's voice inside. The male who they thought was inside was wanted on a warrant for assault. The female, Miss Corinne Gaines, was wanted because she did not show up to court on her other charges. She had a bench warrant out for her arrest. Officers knocked on the door. No one would open the door, so officers then used a key from the apartment complex to go in. There was an extra lock on the door, and they ended up having to kick it. As the first officer entered the apartment, he saw a shotgun barrel pointed directly at him. He yelled, gun, 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 ran outside, and the officers called the SWAT team in. The tactical team showed up, and there was a several-hour standoff with Corinne while she sat there loading a shotgun and telling her son that the police were there to kill him. What's happening right now? Who's outside? The police. And what are they trying to do? 
He's charging. What are they trying to do? Sorry, here. I can hear you. Said no. It's good. A lot of this was caught on video. She was live streaming it to Facebook, where some of her friends were telling her to continue doing what she was doing. Eventually, Corinne made the statement to police, I'm going to kill you all if you don't leave. One of the officers had a chance to take a shot after she had pointed a shotgun at the officer several times. He took a shot. Corinne fired back. He took three more shots and she went down. Unfortunately, during the shooting, her five-year-old son was struck in the arm and took a grazing wound to the cheek. A six-woman jury in Baltimore saw this as enough to give Corinne Gaines' family $37 million of the taxpayers' money. The family attorneys and everyone in the family is blaming the Baltimore police officers for this happening. Corinne Gaines' family attorney even argued that she presented no danger to police. <laughs> Shotguns dangerous? Okay. Everyone, that is the story of Miss Corinne Gaines. Let me know what you think about this situation and the massive payout her family got in the comments below. There's going to be a lot of changes being made. I'm going to be switching things around. And hey, I got some pretty cool news. The gunsmithing shop, Concept Arms, that I did a video on last week, has let me have an office inside of their building. So there's going to be a lot more firearm content added to this channel. And also, I'm going to be live streaming in there during the daytime. Anyways, come hang out on the live stream during the day. It should start sometime this week, maybe next week. But you can see all the cool guns that comes in and out of Concept Arms. You can see... Brock and James working on, on firearms. You can see all the cool stuff they do. Everyone, this is Donut. I hope that you had a very safe weekend, and I want everyone to have a fantastic day.